what to see, what to rent, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. All right, everybody. Ryan J is a nationally syndicated film critic. He is back because he has some new movies to review. We love it when you're here. We hey, know Ryan. The, we know it means it's the weekend. Well, thankfully, there are new movies every week. Interestingly, yeah. though, this week, none of these movies screened for critics. Which is oh. not a good sign, typically. Oh, you know? it what does that mean? They're afraid of the critics. Sometimes, I mean, it can, you can assume any number of things, but it's rare when a film doesn't screen for critics. Both of these movies premiered at Tribeca Film Festival, and they both co-star uh, the leaders of Beauty and the Beast. So we've got one oh. movie with Emma Watson, oh. one movie with Dan Stevens. Okay, 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 awesome. The first one we're going to talk about is The Circle. Right, and this movie is a suspenseful drama that deals with themes of technology and privacy, and it has a really cool modern pulse to it. Fantastic cast you like? I love Emma Watson. I you know, do too. Hermione from Harry Potter, she was great as Belle. She's wonderful in this, does an amazing American accent. And then we have our co-star Tom Hanks, who's only in it about 10 minutes. That's why she gets top billing. I was so curious about that. Okay. Um, and uh, he's great as a scene partner to her. Bill Paxton in his last film role. Oh, really? We also have Eller Coltrane, who was in uh, Boyhood, but he can't act. And he kind of ruins part of the movie. He brings it down in his scenes because I struggle watching him. And John Boyega from Star Wars is in this too. He's great. That's interesting. Okay, so now you're you're saying this is inspired by life a little bit? Right. It's like this. Uh, the, the Circle is a company that's like a cross between Google and Facebook and like the DMV all in one, <laughs> if you can imagine that. And it's like this advanced tech company, and it, it asks these questions about you know privacy and secrets and how uh, impressive technology is, but also how invasive it can be and how risky that can be if it crosses a line. You know? One of the things you mentioned to us is that there's a knowledge issue. Or right, it, it raises a question about knowledge and whether that is a basic human right or a privilege. And if you think about it, it's like, yeah, we should all have access to knowledge, but where do you draw the line? What knowledge should be really remain secretive and for what purpose? And if imagine if your emails and texts and phone calls were made public in real time as you're texting, oh, as you're emailing, everything. There was complete <laughs> transparency in your life. Like, you'd be completely honest. It would keep us all completely honest, yeah, you know? Yeah, very private. Right. Well, there would be no privacy. There'd be no privacy, so, so yeah. you probably wouldn't be so texting. So this, this movie kind of deals with that. Interesting. Okay, so this did not screen for critics, It didn't screen mentioned. for critics. It's a lot to consider um, about where it could be heading, but um, it's very predictable, and that was okay. my problem with it. So there are better movies to see right now, like Free Fire or Gifted. So this one's a rental. Okay. And it's PG-13. Yeah, PG-13, and okay. it's a rental. You know, right. stream it someday, rent it at home and be perfectly fine, but there are better movies. I couldn't be like my, to say to you as my friends, be like, you got to go see this right. when there are better movies. And that's what you want to hear yeah. when you're going to take the time exactly. and money to go to the theater. Yeah. Absolutely. So how about the ticket? That's next. Right. This movie is a drama that's uh, with Dan Stevens. It's about a blind man who regains his vision and draws a metaphor or parallel between that and winning a lottery ticket. Oh, that's huh. kind of cool. Yeah. I like that. Um, what about the cast in this one? Dan Stevens, who was the Beast, and you know from Downton Abbey, and he's very good. And then we also have um, Malin Ackerman, who I really enjoy, and she's like a hot actress, but they really like uh, like played her down in this, and they make her kind of like the, the dowdy wife, which I thought was an interesting role. But she's so outstanding as a serious actress. What do you mean by subtle? Oh, it's subtle because uh, there are great stretches of this film that are experimental and there's a subtlety to it which I thought I would like except there's this one scene where the entire film, the entire scene is shot from behind people's heads and oh. you're just looking at the backs of their heads and I think they're trying to go artsy and flip that switch okay. but it was so annoying and then really boring and I was like I just want to see faces just tell us the story and show it to us. Right? I'm like I like experimental artistic film when it works but that and didn't the story, work. no it didn't work it sort of failed. And the, well yeah and then you're thinking about the camera angle and not absolutely. what's happening and that's yeah. frustrating yeah, I think. Quiet. What about the score? The score was very annoying. Here's the thing about score when a score is great in a film you don't even <laughs> notice it. It right. adds to the emotional element of the film. It helps, you know, boost up something else that's going on in the scene. But you will, about 5% of the time, notice score when it's either outstanding and should be nominated for an Oscar or when it's so horrible it distracts. In this case, it's horrible and distracting. Okay. And then lastly, I just think that it doesn't have an ending. It's one of those movies that just stops. That's I don't very like annoying. that. Yeah, no payoff. It just stops, so skip it. It's it's available now on demand, and I'd say it's not even worth the stream or it's the download. Skip just skip it. it. All right. Well, let's get to something good because our producer, Paul, is super excited. <laughs> <laughs> about your movie club. With reason, yes. <laughs> 
The Guardians of the Galaxy ah. Volume 2. I just rewatched <laughs> the original, the first one. It's so good. Great music, great casting, lots of good humor. So I'd like to invite, invite you to join me this Monday night, May 1st at 7 p.m. for the advanced screening of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Go to my website to enter to win. That's so cool. You're, you're excited about it? Very excited. You awesome. can tell. Should be good, yeah. <laughs> Go to Ryan's website to find out more about that. You can like him on Facebook, too. Follow him on Twitter. And for full movie reviews, check out his website, ryanjreviews.com. Always great seeing you. Thank you. You too. Thanks, guys. Next time we'll cut your hair. No, okay. yeah, if there's anything left to cut, please. <laughs> we can find something to cut. My man hair. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Thanks.